To make our next part, we're going to go ahead and just minimize the cubes that we just made. So to minimize, you're going to go to your workspace, and it works just like many other programs. You have what looks like the minus sign, and if you put your cursor over it, it, it says minimize. You're going to go ahead and click on minimize, and then it comes back to kind of the opening screen. So you can um, pick from here what you want to do next. There are a couple ways to start a new part. You can do it from here, or you can also go up to the top left hand corner and there is a new button. But since we have this open, we're going to click on part to create a new part. Again, start 2D sketch. XY plane is your top left hand corner. Make sure it turns gray before you click it. This time we're going to make the one inch cylinder. So take a look at your tools. The one that makes the most sense is your circle tool. So I'm going to have you left click on your circle and anywhere in your live workspace, you're going to left click, let up on your mouse and just move it a little ways. And if you notice, there is only one box that you can key into. And this is going to be for the diameter of your cylinder or your circle. So the diameter is one inch. So in that blue box, we're going to put in a one for the diameter and then press enter. So we have a one inch diameter circle. Again, everything we do here in Autodesk is in sketches. So we are going to finish this sketch. To make this 3D, we are going to extrude. We, we are going to extrude the depth for one inch. Our cylinder is one inch in diameter and then one inch in depth. So again, if this dialog box is not open, go ahead and open it using the arrow button. Under distance, you want to extrude it one inch. Make sure it says one inch and then press OK. And here is your one inch cylinder. Go up to the big I, file save as, make sure you're still in your Z drive, your design and modeling folder, and you will save this as cylinder, C-Y-L-I-N-D-E-R.